look, now you can't see my head at all. Good morning, everybody. It's going to be kind of an interesting video. Uh, toast to you and all you do. I hope you're having a great day. I'm outside in my garden in my outdoor altar space. Did some work on my altar over the weekend. Well, over the last week and whatnot. And I also finished my fairy card thing. So I was going to do a little cleansing. I figured I would have you join me. Why not? Uh, so first, my outdoor altar. So um, I don't think I've ever did a video on altars. Uh, there are traditional altars that you see um, like in the Scott Cunningham books or in the Buckland books or whatever, uh, Buckland books. But it doesn't have to be, you know, your chalice and your censer and your athame and your whatever in that thing, in that order, in that space. If you're having, you know, if you're doing a very traditional ritual, then yeah, set it up like that because in that way you're connecting with your ancestors and, and the witches who have done that before. That's why we have these standardized ways of creating our altar space or our magical space is to connect with that energy that people have done over and over and over and over and over again. But when you're doing your own practice, it doesn't have to be that way. You can set up your altar space in any way that works best for you. And it's really important that it does work best for you. And each person's altar is gonna look different because again, your practice is different. So I have my inside altar that I've shown you guys before. That's more of a traditional setup on my outdoor altar on the other hand, let's see if I can do this without messing it up, is not traditional. So we have my outdoor altar here. Let's see if we can get a better angle. <clears throat> okay, it's uh, in the dirt. Oh, I almost knocked my coffee over, that would've sucked. Okay, so here we go. We have this, which is actually one of those ground flatteners, uh, pounders, I guess, my husband uses for work. It broke. And it was like this sharp thing on the other side, but he's like, what do we want to do with this? I was like, it's perfect. Keep it. Um, put it upside down in my garden. Um, and then I have all these rocks that I've collected. Um, the ones on the bottom are mostly out of the yard, but then as you see, I have like some fancy rocks here. Um, this one looks like it's, it's attached because I've burnt on it before. <laughs> I use this. It's heavy metal, so I can set stuff on fire here. Um, and this is my usable working space. So I have shells, I have different colors, and I have this pot, which I actually thought that I had lost. I think I even referenced it in a video the other day about having somewhere safe to burn things. Um, I found it when I unpacked all of my altar stuff. Weird leaf that doesn't belong here. I thought it was a rock. Anyways, um, and uh, yeah. So as you see, it's not like crazy fancy chalice stuff. I have my tote frogs and I just, that's what it is. These are my garden energies and that's how I keep them. So next, okay, wait, oh, let's go back over. Let's see if we can get this set up again. Ah, okay, so next I made my new fairy bear app. Uh, the one before was like 20 years old and uh, needed a new one. So I still kept their tie to keep something of the old thing. I am kind of sad that in this process, the little rock I had talked about last week, I'm kind of sad still about it. I lost. I don't think I lost it. It just, the fairies borrowed it or one of the kids found it, whatever. So I have little strings here. I'm still finding baubles and trinkets that I'm gonna add to it, things that the fairies like. I was thinking maybe a button or two. Um, to help close it because there's no latch under, other than the tie right now so but it folds out and then there's a pouch for my cards in the book um and then it also works as a mat so you, that you always have a clean space sacred space to do your readings so this is pretty awesome i'd never made one before it turned out really nice i'm really pleased with it i think the fairies like it just the color scheme and whatnot just reminds me of being in the garden so that's what I did. So we I also, I have some golden sage from the smudge stick that I made. Um, I make, it's so funny, after they dry, the string just like, whatever. So I make my own smudge sticks out of my sage in the garden and I always make them really little. They're about finger sized. Um, this way, it doesn't burn forever. It doesn't set off my smoke alarms if I have to do it inside. 
and it's just a more workable smudge than the one inch round giant crazy things. So I personally really like my own small whatever. So when you're making your own smudge sticks, don't think that it has to be an inch wide and five inches long and like this crazy thing. That's for like big powwows. That's for like big, like we have the whole coven together. But when it's just you, these little ones work great. So I have this and I have my cards and we're just gonna do a little smudging and I'm gonna clean up my altar space and all that hot jazz and uh, welcome the fairies. Oh, I hope that was the neighbor yelling and not my husband. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so let's do some cleansing. I'm gonna move the camera. I have another spot set up. Let's see if this works. Do, 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 so that you can see. Maybe it worked before, and of course, now that I'm recording, it's not good. There we go. All right, so mm. let's take a tea, cute, blah, 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 blah. see, all tongue tight this morning. Just take a few deep breaths to kind of help ground and center, be present in this moment. I'm excited to have something new for my fairy cards. I think they're excited too, so this should be good. Fairies, I call to you elements from afar. Gods and guides and those in between. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your gifts. And thank you for all that you do. My gratitude overflows and I am eternally grateful. Today is a cleansing day with this fresh moon and a fresh start. I have a fresh garden and a fresh bag for my fairy cards and I am starting this spring season fresh and new and ready for something new. Cleanse the space, negativity, cleanse the space of that which is no longer needed. My beautiful fairy cards. I am so grateful for the wisdom that you bestow upon me. Thank you. I cleanse you. We've been together many years. I had many, many meaningful conversations and lessons learned. And I am so grateful. And I want to continue to work with you for many years to come. I am so blessed, so grateful. I made this new sack for you, for you to have a happy home with these cards. I cleanse this. Make it ready for a whole next 20 years of growing together. Mm, many blessings. Seal you with my love and good intentions. Many good readings to come. And this shall be your new home. Safe and secure. And a sack made with love. Good intent. Many blessings. Going to take just a minute 
to meditate and then I will be right back. Okay, see, while I was meditating, the neighbor dogs came out. <clears throat> so I don't think that the microphone is so specific that it only picks up me. I'm sure that you can hear them. But before we go, we just cleansed the cards and did all of that stuff. I figured I would do a quick card draw and see what the fairies have to say today on this new day. Cleansed, brushed. So fairies, tell us, what message do you have for us on this new beginning? It's funny, they're like spring tight. Like, like a spring, not like it's spring. <laughs> Uh, oh, my fairies, what do we have to say today? Oh, that card just does not want to go back in. Hmm. Appropriate letting go. In order to start something new, you have to let go of the past. You have to move forward. You have to say, it's okay. I learned those lessons and now I'm going to move forward. So however it is that you learn to let go of things, now is that time to let go and to move forward and allow new things to manifest in your life. So before the dogs start fence fighting again, I hope all of you have a great day. Let go of that which does not serve you and move forward on this great fresh start with this new moon and a new season and a new year. And we're going to do great things. So many blessings to all of you and I hope you have a great day.